Welcome to Specific Love. With the overwhelming response we received on this pool noodle boat, I went through all of your comments and I'm gonna pick out a number of those and we're gonna upgrade this boat and make a version two and take it back out to the lake. Let's begin. I've had a bunch of you ask one simple question. How much does this cost? So I sat down and finally calculated everything it cost for me to put this together and it came at just right at $110. Which I know is not cheap, but for building something on your own, it's not that bad. Now, if you don't include this top section here, you just have the outer frame, then it should cost you less than $100. Now, of course, this is going to vary depending on where you live and where you can get cost. Always check on Amazon, make sure you can get uh, cheaper stuff there sometimes. But there you go, roughly $110. I've listened to you, and most of you are saying either make the boat wider or put outriggers on it. So, we're going to add two outriggers to this boat, which as it is making the boat wider. Now these are the Mega Monster uh, pool noodles. I bought at the local store. I think these were about $6 a piece. So we're going to take this, and then we're going to take some one inch PVC, and we're going to construct these out to look great. Now you can usually purchase your PVC in about 10 foot sections. So we want to do this right in half so we can get the full width. We're going to mark it right at five foot. Now with our boat measuring about two feet across by itself, when we lay this five foot section across, it adds about an additional foot and a half to each side. That should definitely help stabilize it. All right, this is roughly what it's gonna look like when it hits the water. Now, as you can tell, it's much, much wider. It's not gonna be easy to transport, so I'm not gonna glue these sections together. I'm gonna keep it so I can easily pull them apart and assemble them at the lake, and then I'll take some paracord and maybe some zip ties with us so we can attach them to the sides of the boat here, and that way we can put it on the water relatively easy. Another big challenge we had here in the top section of the boat is as we took a step, if we didn't take a step directly across the pool noodles, there's a good chance they would separate and our foot would go through and get even wetter. So we're now going to take some nice bright orange heavy duty fluorescent tape and try and tape them together. Now with them all taped together. It is quite hard to try and separate them, so that, that should work great. And for the final upgrade, I'm gonna cover the bottom in plastic. And that way, it'll push all water to the outside. You don't have to worry about our feet or our pants getting wet, and we're gonna have a great time paddling around. The plastic is now taped all in. I made sure to do it in all four corners, and we are ready to hit the water. A friend of us invited us out to their pond, so that's where we're gonna test the new one. When I added this outside piece of plastic, I forgot to take in consideration how I was going to attach the outriggers. Fortunately, I had some zip ties in my truck and I have attached it to the top section here. Figure the weight that is going to be pushing down here should hold these in place. Much better. Enjoy it. Is this better now or before? Now. Why? A lot more stable. A lot more stable? Great boat, great upgrades. Definitely give us a shot. What I'd failed to realize is at this point, the pool noodles had slowly started to turn, allowing water to start to come in on the corners. Oh, my butt just got wet. Oh, we're going. I am. Oh. Well, it went under the last second, I think, as I tipped it a little too much. Okay. Ah. I'm going to, here, take this oar. There's the evidence. Here, take, 
Okay, we're gonna have to cut this a little bit short. It uh, looks like it's about to rain. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Good job, honey.